Welcome, everybody. It is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is show you step by step how to set up the one key classic 1S. So if you guys have not already seen the video, definitely check out the unboxing video. I did that and I must say I'm very impressed. It's a really nice hardware wallet and like I said, it's kind of cute, it's kind of cool. So if you guys get something out of this video, smash the like button, subscribe, and if you can, comment whatever questions you have regarding anything crypto related. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you lay everything out. Um, so here we've got our paperwork, we got the wallet itself, and we've got our recovery sheets. So here we're gonna make sure that we set at least one of these to the side here, and we got this ready. The moose also has a pen. So now we're ready to go and we can set up this hardware wallet. So first off, if you guys want to pick one up, head over to the link tree. So I will have that pinned in the comments and in the description, I will have a link to pick up this hardware wallet. So I will update the link tree and I'll have it up here for you. Um, currently, I do not have an affiliate link, but when I do, I will update that. So as of right now, you will not be able to save any money, but perhaps in the future, um, just wait a week or two, um, I wanna mention that. And on top of that, we are also doing a giveaway. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but I will have that in the link tree as well. I'm giving away this exact wallet. It's the One Key Classic 1S. So check it out on the Moose YouTube Twitter. That's where we're gonna be doing the giveaway. Okay, so let's dive into it. And by the way, if you already have this wallet set up and you want to recover your wallet, this video is for you as well. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to onekey.so slash start. So even on the overhead, you can see on the sheet of paper here, this is the QR code, so scan that and go to onekey.so forward slash start, have all of your stuff ready. This is what it looks like. So I've got my monitor set up and I'm gonna be using a Mac and we're also going to be doing the desktop. So there's also the mobile app, browser extension, the bridge, etc. We're gonna do the desktop app here. Go to Mac OS for me and we're going to do Intel chip because that's what I have. So right now that's going to download and once that gets done, then we can download the software. So. That's effectively the first step here. So it shouldn't take too long. We're gonna do potentially a little bit of editing, but if not, then we won't. Okay, so we have the app installed. It took less than a minute. And here on screen, you can see the different options. So if you already got it set up, go ahead, connect your wallet, get to it. Um, but if you haven't already created a wallet, that's what we're gonna do here in just a second. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plug in a USB-C to USB and this will allow us to connect our wallet to the computer. So looking at the monitor here, we got different options. So again, here I've got this connected through USB-C, and what we're gonna do is hit on English here. So just to give you an idea, hit English, continue, follow the on-screen instructions. So here if we take a look on the screen, we can see the KO 112, so we're gonna click on that. So device authentication, confirm on your device. So we're gonna confirm. There we go, so verification successful, continue. Set up new wallet, restore wallet. In the case that you've already set up one of these wallets, and you lost it, somebody stole it, etc. What you can do is restore your device by doing this. And again, this is the desktop version. So what we're gonna do is set up a new wallet, okay? So select create new wallet, write down your seed phrase here. So we're going to set all this up and we're gonna use the overhead. So we're gonna hit continue here. Create new wallet, that's what we wanna do. Create new wallet, gathering standard wallet with new set recovery phrase. We're gonna do a 12 word, just cause I don't wanna be here for an hour. There we go. 
And now we're gonna write down all the words. So this is the first word, it's learn. So the next word is going to be access and then so on and so on. So you wanna make sure to write down all these words, okay? So this is for tutorial purposes. By the way, you should never share these words with anyone. If anybody asks you for your seed phrase, tell them to get loose. So I wanted to mention that. This is not a wallet I'll be using. I will be creating a new one. Okay, so number four is access, execute. So you wanna write down all these words. So basically you will take this and write down your words. Because I'm not gonna actually use this wallet, I'm just gonna write this on a sheet of paper. Okay, so let's just get this on a sheet of paper and I can throw it out after. So what we're gonna do is write down all these words in sequential order for this tutorial. So here I'm gonna write number one, learn. Number two, access. Number three, friend. And the reason that I'm going to be writing this down is because it's gonna to have to ask us if we actually wrote this down by testing us. For example, what is word number four, five, et cetera. So it's very important to do that. So we got friends and then we've got four, which is access. Five is execute. I'm gonna do this quick. Food, so seven. So puppy, and then it's going to be move. So we got our words. We can also write down up here, one key classic. As you can see here, we've got all of our words written down and they are written down in sequential order. So here it wants us to check the words. Here it's asking us to check word one and we know that it's learn. And again, you're not gonna share your words with anyone. Word number two is access. And it's gonna want us to go through all of them, it looks like. There we go, so awesome. Your backup is complete, almost done. Now we're gonna set our four to nine digit pin. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So we're gonna set up a pin. For the test, we're just gonna make it one, 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 one. Okay, so we're just gonna make it one. I would assume that you would set up something better for your own wallet. So let's just do that. And again, this is a test wallet. I'm gonna set up another one when I actually do this. So now put in the pin again. So here we're just gonna do one, 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 one. Here we go. Pin is set, perfect. Here we've got our device ready. And one thing I wanna share with you is if you go to general, Bluetooth, make sure that's enabled. What I'm gonna do is reconnect our device. So you wanna make sure that that's connected and it's charging and showing. Now that we got our device connected, if we take a look, at the app, we can go to connect hardware wallet and we can see our device right here. So we're gonna click on that. Now it's gonna ask us for our pin. So for example, if you look on the device itself, we can see our numbers are scattered. So our pin of course is 11111, again, as a test for this wallet. So what we're gonna do is go 11111, right? and confirm. Also, it's gonna want us to confirm on the device. So that's how you approve transactions and verification successful. Creating your wallet. So we still got this plugged in. Finalize wallet setup. So wait a minute or two and things should be set up perfectly. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna make this bigger. And if you take a look here, we can install the latest firmware. You always want to do this. So I recommend whenever you see a firmware update that you update that immediately. So taking a look as well, this is what we see on screen. So nothing too crazy. We got things connected. This is a different cable, but it's a little bit longer for the tutorial. So update now, might as well. I've already backed up. My device is connected. Yes, it's charged, perfect. Let's continue. 
it's important to not unplug your device and we're going to update the firmware. So here we're going to prove on the device as well. So this is what I see on my device. Again, the numbers are scattered. The one is in the middle. So we're going to click on the middle. There we go. And of course your pin should be a lot better than that going forward. And right here on the device, it's showing boot mode. So on the device, it's asking us to approve, install firmware, yes, preparing. So that's what we see there. And this is what we see on the device itself. Updates complete. So here we got the one key classic 15. So that is our wallet. We got account one. So again, we could edit this, change things up. So it looks like if we go to check for updates, we should be up to date. That's very important. So this will help you keep your device secure, etc. And it will give you access to more tokens as the company updates that as well. So we're up to the latest firmware, which is good. And we got to count one and we're going to change this just so we know for sure that it's ours whenever we log in here, we're just going to put Mitch. So confirm. And again, you do not want to use my words. You're going to have your own set of words. So again, to approve transactions, you're going to have the screen similar to a treasure. So the one is in the bottom middle. So same thing, bottom middle. And of course yours will be more difficult because you're not going to use all ones. This is for the education purposes only. So there we go. Even on the device, we now have got our one key classic 1S Mitch. So we updated our name, which is cool. And we're going to hit done. And now we can go to account one. Perfect. So now we can add different assets to our wallet. So if you want to add some Bitcoin, click on Bitcoin. You can swap, you can buy, you can receive. So to receive, you even have to approve on the device itself. So if you want to add some Bitcoin, you can send it to this wallet. And now you've got your Bitcoin stored on a hardware wallet. So in order for somebody to then send your Bitcoin away from your device, they need to physically have your hardware wallet. They have to know your pin and they have to send a transaction that way. Now's a good time to download the One Key Wallet app. This is what it looks like. I've got a visual for you. So let that download. It's available for both iOS and Android users. Once the wallet is open, you can connect your hardware wallet. Click on that button and then you're going to start connection. Once you do this, you will see your device on the screen. Then you're going to click on your device and then you're going to pair the device. All you're going to do is put in your specific number and then your device will be authenticated. From there, you're going to enter your pin, which we've already set up together, and then you will see your account. So not only can you view your assets using a laptop or desktop, but you can also use your mobile device. So if you're out on the go, this is a good option as well. And the app looks phenomenal. Um, overall, I'm very impressed with everything that one key is doing. It kind of caught me off guard, to be honest. Again, you're going to have to physically tap the device and approve transactions. This is what adds another layer of protection because someone's going to have to physically have your device and physically approve and know your pin, which adds another layer of security. So with that being said, that's all we got for you. If you guys like this hardware wallet, check out the link tree and we'll see you in the next one.